So by now you've probably heard of Pinterest. If you haven't heard of Pinterest, uh, welcome to the internet. It is the latest craze. Um, I'm a big fan of it. It's great for inspiration, really acting as a visual repository, uh, and I'm pretty active on it. So we're going to take a look at sites that really focus on inspirational tools to help you create something uh, or save something. The first is Pinterest. Pinterest is uh, really an aggregation tool for inspiration so you're gonna see that this model is very popular there's a couple verticals that I'm going to show you later today that focus uh, on the Pinterest model so you can see here I'm logged in this is basically a feed of everyone that I follow uh, whoever posted book a ticket and just leave I am on the same page with that it's summertime and I think everyone is craving a vacation um, if I go to my my personal page these are all the boards that I've created boards are really cool because they're a way to organize all of your pins on Pinterest so that is a that is a high-level overview of Pinterest the next we're gonna look at is bolt it's bo dot lt and I love this site because it's basically Pinterest for web pages so you can save that awesome site that you found online really cool campaign you saw cool artwork as someone did here uh, this is pretty funny someone has found the real-life replica of the character from up uh, so it's pretty it's it's similar to Pinterest in the repository regard but really focuses on web pages the next is Loverly. Now Loverly is focusing on a targeted vertical, which is weddings. Uh, it's a very smart move. You know, a lot of startups that focus on a niche get off the ground faster. They're more agile. It's easier for them to adapt and really react to consumer needs. So I'm a big fan of their model. Now in a post Pinterest web, there are going to be tons of explosions of self-curated inspiration platforms, um, but their niche is very appealing and the offering is clear. So. The pros of a concept that is similar to Pinterest would be, you know, the pinning and repinning. So the community is driving the spread of social content from Loverly onto Pinterest. So Loverly is actually taking advantage of the fact that they are very similar to Pinterest, which really helps in social snowballs. Um, there are some other really cool sites uh, like Polyvore, which basically lets you create a mood board using content around the web. Now this site has a very active social community. You can see just some of the content on the homepage it has over 1400 comments, 800, 560. Um, it's a very beautiful visual experience for the user. There's a lot of folks in the fashion and beauty world on here. Um, it basically makes anyone uh, a fashion editor, which is which is pretty appealing. Um, there's a big teen audience here as well. And uh, here at BFM, I've worked with a lot of our fashion clients to think about how can you take this idea of social aggregation and curation and really use it to inform what consumers are interested in buying. So it's a really interesting way to actually merchandise product uh, and get people interested. The next is list.com. That's L-Y-S-T. What list.com does is let anyone be a fashion editor. So the idea is that I sign up for an account. I then can curate out the items that I crave the most for that season. People can follow me. You can follow brands. Uh, there are some really cool active brands on here. If I go up to designers or bloggers, Man Repeller is on here, who I'm a big fan of. Um, has pretty cool pretty cool sense of style so you can see these are all of her picks across the web um, she has about 680 followers so people are getting notifications every time that she she posts a new item the last uh, is a client of BFM's uh, which is BizBash they're basically the granddaddy of the event planning industry and what we did for them was build them a very targeted interactive site that allows people interested in event planning and putting together an event uh, a way to build out what they want the event to be about so you can see here any image that you see throughout the BizBash site can be added to an idea book. An idea book lets you create a mood board for your event. So you're seeing in the web with, with Pinterest, with Bolt, with Loverly, with BizBash, this trend of letting people really create 
and bring together their content in a way that's going to work for them. So it's not me saving things to my desktop or emailing them to a friend. It's me bringing it together on on a great platform like any of the the six that I just showed you and referencing it again in the future for uh, whether it's for purchase, for inspiration, say it's for a wedding or an event. So I'm a big fan of these. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy them. I will include the links at the bottom of this video and take a take a chance to just explore them. They're, they're uh, the latest and greatest and very fun. So until next time, have a great day and adios.